Hello everybody. I'm re-recording this video. Um, I had done it a few days ago and didn't press record. <laughs> One of those things. So I did the whole painting and then I realized I didn't record it. So we're going to give it another shot. <clears throat> First thing I'll do is go over the paint that I'm going to use. So we'll start, of course, with our titanium white. Then next to that, I have cadmium orange. Next to that, I have cadmium yellow medium. Then on the bottom here, I have my quinacridone magenta. Next is the dark one, that's our Dioxine Purple. Next is our Thalo Blue. And our Thalo Green is next to that. And we're back to the white. I will also be using Carbon Black in the same brand, Liquitex Basics Acrylic Paint. If you have other colors, this is going to be a colorful giraffe painting. So, I mean, the sky's the limit, really. You can use any colors you want. Um, you can use as, as few or as many. Just remember, um, you know, if you want it to be bright and colorful, I would go with you know, some of the more bold colors, but you may also prefer to do it in naturals like browns and blacks. So next, what I'm gonna do, I'll also include a picture of this little sketch I've done in the Patreon news feed. In the meantime, if you didn't see that there, you can just pause the video here and just do a simple pencil outline of that. Next, for brushes, not going to use a ton of brushes. I'm going to use my three-quarter inch angle brush. But, of course, you can have a three-quarter flat. It would do exactly the same thing. And our half-inch angle brush. And then I got two small ones, just a little number six round for doing details. And I got this little small filbert brush. So even a little quarter-inch flat would do the same thing for our purposes today. So just a couple brushes, you don't need a ton. So first we're going to paint in our background and I'm just going to wet my, you'll also need a little well of water and some paper towel. I'm going to wet my biggest brush and I'm going to drag just a little bit of white paint out. You're going to want to thin your paint out a little bit with water because of course it's thick in those tubes and if you try to paint with it straight from the tube you may find it a little too thick to cover well. So that, and I'm gonna to touch a little yellow. We're just gonna kinda of do a mixy, bright colored background. As I move up, I'm gonna add a little orange. Not rinsing my brush, just leaving the white in it that's there. Coming in right to my pencil line. If you go over your pencil line, it's okay. Just a fun kind of dabbed on abstract background. And of course, if you don't want oranges and yellows and pinks, I'm gonna use a little bit of that magenta now as I'm getting up near the top. You can do this in cool colors too if you wanna do your blues and your greens or if you wanna just do a solid gray or black background, that would also be nice. So notice how I'm just dabbing on. I'm not going crazy and brushing and brushing and brushing. I am going to turn my canvas as I go, just so it's easier to reach. A little bit of a little bit of our orange and 
our magenta. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you, I'm using a 12 by 16 stretched canvas today. Uh, actually, no, I think it's 11 by 14 now I'm saying it. Not quite sure. Any size would do. This would look so nice done on a real big canvas to be a bold statement in a room. So the choice is up to yours. You can adapt this to any size you want. You can do it on a long, skinny canvas. Just make his neck more visible, have that long neck. If you follow me on my Facebook page, you'll see I've done a few of those too. More magenta, I'm letting it be darker up top. A little magenta, a little dip in my water. And some of our cadmium orange creates such a pretty, pretty color. Just cutting in right close to my pencil line and kind of going over them a little bit and that's okay. come down the left side of the canvas and we're going to start to lighten it up a little bit so just touched in a little more white that time so some of our yellow a little bit of our white in my water I'm going to come to my white again I've got enough um, yellow and orange on my brush that I didn't need to pick up anymore So at this point, you might want to pause the video and uh, work on your background, take your time. Don't over brush it, let it kind of be a little PC. See your little brush dabs and your abstract kind of way everything kind of blends together. You don't need to over brush it. So there's our background. I'll just rinse my brush a little. I'm gonna to move to my half inch brush now. Like I said, if you have a half inch flat, that will work exactly the same. So now we're going to start. First, I'm gonna kinda of add in my background color. So I'm gonna choose sort of a purple overall color for my giraffe so I'm using my dioxine purple and I'm just adding a little bit of white with that little dip in my water just to thin this out a little bit and I'm gonna start brushing on a little purple I'm gonna come back with other colors as well, so I'm not gonna fill everything in. And we're gonna outline later in black too. So 
some of the ears and the two horns. But I'm leaving a little white right around the edge. Let's go with a little, I'm going to take a little bit of my purple. I'm just going to drag a little of my magenta in with it just to give a little difference of color. Maybe a little more white. Just a hint lighter. There we go. rinse my brush because so I want to start blending in and changing a little bit of the color so I'm taking just a little white and a little of my magenta just to make kind of a pinky color and we're going to start to blend that into this purple just because I didn't want it to be too too dark around the face. A little more white and magenta. Remember, keep adding a little bit of water when you're mixing your paint. You don't want this to be too thick and chunky, too heavy. And we're going to go back to our purple. And I'm going to fill in the neck around where we put our few little spots. And we'll go back um, later and add a little more, maybe like a little highlight to this. I'm going to let it get darker, so more purple, less white as I come down. towards the bottom. And notice I'm not being like too nitpicky with this at all. I kind of prefer a little more loose abstract feel to my brush strokes. So, you know, if you're a type A personality, <laughs> you might find it hard to kind of leave it like this. A little messy but I know where it's going and in the end it'll it'll look good so I'm gonna take my little half or sorry quarter inch I got a filbert but if you've got a quarter inch flat brush that would work and I'm gonna pull a little of my phthalo turquoise but again if you don't have a turquoise color you can use green will be nice and I'll put a little blue in there too let's see and a little water on it just remember you can do this painting with any colors and we're just gonna go around the ear a little bit and we're gonna pull in and fill in all that white that's left there. Go 
going to do the same with the little tops of his horns. I'm going to turn it now just so I can reach the other. So remember, I'm just using a filbert because it's what I had close, but a just a regular half inch, or sorry, quarter inch, I don't know why I keep saying half, a quarter inch flat with a nice edge on it will do all this as well. going to add a little more white. This is really kind of a mixy painting guys and we're just going to start I'm not blending it I'm just doing some little dabs just to start to give our giraffe a little kind of speckly look and as I move down I'm going to make them a little lighter so a little lighter now just gonna give my brush a little rinse just every now and then I do that just to kind of reset it if I feel like it's getting too kind of big and full of paint I'll just give it a quick rinse and I'll you know kind of flatten and pat it dry again and it kind of just resets your brush and lets you kind of start again and get a nice edge on it So that's that and I think I'll do the spots this kind of teal green as well so I'll let it be a little darker this time and then we'll kind of add some highlight to that and like I said if if this kind of a colorful whimsical painting is not your preference in color do this all with neutrals that would look so nice so if you did it with your browns and your blacks and kind of a little bitty yellowy orange brown maybe this painting would translate excellent with those colors as well Next thing I'm going to do is paint the snout area. And I'm going to do that kind of a lighter teal. I'm going to go right over where the nose, where the nostrils are because we can paint those back in black later.
give my brush a little wipe. I didn't even rinse it with water. Just a little white wipe and I'm going to touch it in just white paint. I'm just going to start just kind of giving a little highlight. to the center. Like I said, don't worry about where we had our pencil lines. We'll go back and do all that after. I haven't added any yellow yet, so I'm gonna take a little white and yellow dip in my water and I'm just going to add just a few little hints of yellow as well. Sorry if I keep going out of the frame. Maybe a little touch of orange. Anything really goes with this. My only, um, not my only, but one of my main Kind of pieces of advice though is if you're doing this and layering your color on like I am it is super important um, not to over brush because if you do if I had kept brushing with this orange and yellow I'd pull up that purple that's underneath and everything will kind of blend together and make not a nice kind of color so just remember with all these different colors and kind of layering things together, um, less is more when it comes to brushing it in. I tend to just kind of dab it on and then I stop. Because I know if I keep going and I have that urge and my hand wants to keep brushing, I'm going to end up wishing that I had stopped. So I'm taking a little yellow and white now. So you, you kind of get the feeling of how I'm doing. Like it's, you know, just adding in a little more color here and there. Let's try a little yellow around here. Like that. So I'm pretty much finished the face and the head except for my black. Outline. So I want to finish the neck now. So what I'll do, I'm going to take a little more white with my purple, still with my little quarter inch brush, and I'm just going to brush this in through some of this purple just to give it a little more dimension, but again, not overworking it. So that little bit of purple, let's even go a little hint lighter. That's enough. Then I'm going to highlight my spot. That's our phthalo green. 
with a little more white added. And I'm even going to take a little bit of white and my magenta to make that nice pink color. And I'm even going to add a little of that, I think. So now we're ready for our black, and I haven't, uh, I'm going to put some on a different plate. My black is in a big jar, so it's the same brand. I just buy it in a jar because I use a lot of it. And I'm just taking a little bit with a palette knife. Actually, I know that's way too much. A little bit with a palette knife. Put the lid back on my jar. Now I'm gonna to switch to that number six brush and I'm wetting it and I'm gonna make a little puddle of black that's thinned out that I can make small lines with because guys, if you try to make small lines with thick paint, it doesn't matter how tiny your brush is, it's not gonna work. You need to thin out your paint and make it a nice, consistency that you can make a little thin line. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is fill in the eyes. And I'm going to give her some eyelashes. I'm going to turn it the other way. I'm going to outline little horns and I'm give a little black top I pretty much outline everything I think the ears and I'm gonna give a little black to the middle of the ears. looking good on the top. I'm going to make a little more runny paint. Let's do the center. Actually, let's come down this side first. And we'll do the nostril.
chin. And this side of the face. And down each side of the neck. And that's about it. Um, the only other thing that will do, taking my small brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint. I'm not thinning this out, I'm just kind of dipping it in. Getting a nice bit of white paint on the end of my brush. And I'm gonna give a little shine to each eye. And there you go. That is our colorful giraffe painting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.